What's up guys, this is Max Uas, and I'm going to go over with you on how you can exa uh, basically exactly, pretty much the exact formula, sorry it's been a pretty crazy day so far, but I'm going to go over the exact formula that you need to sell your art online. You know, if, you, if you're a, you know, the, the phrase uh, starving artist has become way too uh, common in today's society when in, in all reality if you have talent and you have the time, not even so much the time, but like if you have the discipline to put in a couple hours of work a week, um, you can build a system that can sell your art for you with very little work on your part. You know, it, obviously, like you're a creative person, you create great art, you're looking to do something. And, you know, most artists out there, you know, the, the problem with art school is that it doesn't actually teach you how to sell anything. You know, it'll teach you how to create, it'll teach you how to come up with ideas, it'll push you to your limits as far as your creativity and what you can actually produce. But um, it's not going to teach you how to market, how to get paid what you're worth, and uh, really just like how to get people to buy your art. And this goes for writers, this goes for visual artists, this goes for painters, this goes for illustrators, this goes for pen and inkers. I mean, I don't care if you do canvas, if you do photography, um, anything out there, you know what I mean? I'm talking sculptures, statues, gigantic, you know, massive sized industrial pieces. You have to find a way to market yourself, you know, otherwise you're completely screwed. You're basically stuck doing, um, task labor for, you know, you're, you're basically stuck working a job, you know? And, and I know like when I was in, when I was going to art school, like the, the problem was, it was like, I was, I was working to pay for supplies, to pay for, you know, the, to pay for school. And, 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 and when I wasn't working, I was basically, you know, doing projects and, you know, working on assignments and things and, and still trying to be as creative as possible, but they don't teach you how to market. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you a system that can basically market for you as long, like I said, as long as you're willing to put in the work. So pay attention and we're going to go over all this. Okay. Peace. Back. So I'm going to explain this all to you. So basically I was watching a, uh, a Corey Huff video, you know, for those of you guys that know who Corey Huff is from the, uh, the abundant artist, um, you know, he, he recommends, uh, five things that you need, you know, you need, you need to create great art. Um, you need to have a plan. Um, you need a blog, you know, basically, or you need, you need a place to basically sell your art. Uh, you need a blog and you need to be able to capture emails. Now that's a good plan. It's a good it's a good way of doing it now here's the thing most of us as artists you're not a tech person right you have a you know maybe you're you're you, you don't want to get online maybe you're afraid of the criticism or something but I'm gonna adjust the camera real quick and try to get the perfect angle I'm gonna show you pretty much the system and what I recommend to do this for yourself very simply very easy um, and you can decide to have a custom domain name you can decide to use uh, the systems domain name but pretty much how to get exposure how to use social media to drive traffic to your site and at the same time how to basically monetize your blog and get paid what you're worth Does that makes sense does that sound good because if not just turn off the video okay so here's what you need for one, and I do agree with him on this. Like basically, you need to have some great art. Okay, I mean, if you don't have great art, I mean, who's gonna buy crap art? Actually, a lot of people are gonna buy crap art. So you don't really need to have great art, but you need to have something that. This is what I found. Okay, so if you guys don't know who I am, um, my name is Max Uhas. I do run an art company. Okay, I've been running an art company now for almost uh, 10 years. I've, I've been doing art sales for almost 15 years. And what I found is that like, regardless of what your art exactly is, whether it's great art, whether it's crap art, whether it's traditional art, whether it's contemporary art, modern art or whatever, there's always a buyer out there. I mean, you could be doing the most generic paintings of pots and urns and stuff like that. And there's going to be somebody out there that enjoys that piece and is going to spend money on it. Okay. You have to ask yourself, am I going for, you know, a really high end, um, sale or am I going to go for just like mass quantity reproduction? That's on you. That's, that's something that you've got to figure out for yourself. So basically you need to have a great, 
um, quality of art, okay? And you need to figure out what kind of stuff you do, you know, and you'd be surprised. There are people that are going to be fans of your stuff, and, you know, they, they may really enjoy it, but if you don't have it out there for them to buy, they're not going to be able to buy it. So pretty much I recommend having a website. Realistically, I recommend having a blog. Now why? Because a blog is a living website. You can update it as often as, or, or not as often as possible. But if you do the right things with it, keywording, SEO stuff or whatever, and I can show you all how to do that, you can rank higher and higher in a search engine. You can get more views to your stuff, uh, whatever. Because a lot of you guys, and I, and I know this because I follow some of you guys, right? You're doing all the social media stuff, right? You've got your Facebook, you've got your Twitter, you've got your Instagram, let's just put IG for short. You know, there's other stuff. I mean, you may be doing uh, Meerkat or uh, what's the other one up, Periscope. You may be doing a lot of cool stuff, but all this, if you don't have a sales page or like a website or a blog to actually take them to, all you're going to do is get, oh, that's nice. You'll get some likes. Yay, like, I like it. You know, you'll get a like. But, you know, if it doesn't take them to a sales page, I mean, what's going to happen? Somebody may message you, hey, I like that. I'm interested in it, whatever. But if, if, if you don't actually have a sales page to send them to, you're really, you're missing out on money. Okay. And here's the other thing. When you build your blog, okay, so this is the whole thing. You got to have art. And you gotta have it hosted, okay? You wanna have it up on a website. You wanna have it somewhere where people can view it. Because if you're doing all this social media stuff, you know, you should have like some type of online gallery or an online portfolio where people can actually view the rest of your stuff, right? Make sense? Okay. And that, it should be hosted on a blog. So if you're doing all this social media stuff, you know, hell, man, I've seen people kill with YouTube videos where it's like, this is me creating and this is me painting. And people like watching that, you know, it's cool. It's cool to see the creative process in motion, you know? So if, if you're, I just recommend doing it. You don't have to do it for every single piece, but do it for one or two. Just kind of like, hey man, this is me and this is how I'm creating this piece, you know? But take it all back to your blog because your blog is basically your online studio slash gallery. It's your online studio slash gallery. Or it could just be your online studio slash gallery. If you're a writer, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's, it could be your online editorial negotiation thing you can sell stuff on there okay third you're gonna need a way to collect emails and contact info okay because you're gonna have people it's like listen I really like this stuff but I'm moving you know I'm really busy right now I saw your art I love it but I'm guy you know I can't and if you don't have that content, I mean, a lot of times you're just going to, you know, if you meet people in person, let's just say you're an artist and you do gallery shows or stuff, right? Some people are just checking out your stuff right there and they may be interested. And if you're not actually collecting their information and keeping in contact with them, you're costing yourself money. Because if somebody buys something from you once, odds are they're going to want to buy more and more and more stuff from you, especially if you have great art and they're a big fan of your art. If you're not doing it, you're seriously shooting yourself in the foot. You are costing yourself money. Okay, and there's no reason for you to be worried about how to pay the rent or how to, uh, you know, how to pay for art supplies or how to pay for studio, to pay, pay the rent at your studio or just, you know, buy more canvases or supplies when you have, you know, clientele that want to spend money with you. Okay, but if you're not doing it, you're costing yourself money. So collect the information, you know, and this is something that's called basically it's a, it's an autoresponder. I'm personally a big fan of, uh, Get response. I, I just think they're a great system, um, and all these, all this stuff is going to be linked below this video for you to see, for you to set it all up. I mean, not bad for a free video, right? This is this is some killer content, killer information. If you're trying to figure this out, I mean, if you're in art school, or let's say you graduated art school, let's just say you didn't have the money to go to art school, or you're you may have already graduated and you're a professional now, or pseudo professional. You know, most most people that graduate art school never actually get a career in art because, I mean. Um, you know, unless you're looking to, to do graphic design work for another company or something, most of us didn't get into the art field to, uh, you know, to work for somebody else. We wanted to work for ourselves. 
But the thing with that is that you've got to think about you and yourself as a business. And a business needs to advertise. A business needs to market. A business needs to attract more clients to the business. Otherwise, you're not going to make any money. That makes sense, right? Okay, so let's just erase this. You've got great quality art, website, place to host your stuff. I guess that's kind of like three, right? You know, which I recommend a custom domain for that. So I'm going to make that three. You know, three would be a custom domain, which is basically going to be your online studio or gallery. You know, four would be a, a way to collect emails, right? Now, this is the kicker. If you set your site up the right way, actually build in an upsell process crazy right because here's the thing if somebody likes one piece okay well, let's just say I mean obviously that's not what your piece of art is going to look like right well, let's just say you're selling a framed canvas or a framed print for a couple hundred bucks two hundred dollar signed and this is the cool thing if you have a site you can actually do like limited edition runs. You can do like, you know, I've, I've met artists that actually do like limited number pieces. You know, like you, you can have the original and with the original, and the original obviously is you should sell for more, but you can do like limited edition runs. You can do like artist proofs, printers proofs, and let's just say anywhere from like a hundred to like a thousand limited edition prints that you sign, that you number, you know, and now they're like collector's pieces. So you buy this and then, Hey, since you like this, I also have one of these, you know, and it normally goes for $500 today. I'll give it to you for 250. Okay. So now you can basically potentially take your $200 sale to a $450 sale. And then if they like that, Hey, by the way, I've also got another thing for, you know, X, Y, Z amount of money. And you can build this into the system. You could build this into to a, to a sales funnel because you have to think about your business as a business. You have to think about your creativity as a business. You have to think about your passion as a business. And especially, and this is what I'm saying, you have to have great quality art. You have to have great quality stuff. Because if you have that, you can basically potentially turn a $200 sale into a $1,000 sale or a $200 sale into a $3,000 sale or five, you know, whatever. This is really how you price your stuff and how you do this. Now, if you want to know how to actually do this and how to build a site to do all this, um, you're going to see some links floating around here. Okay, it could be below the video, it could be over here, it could be up there. I'm not sure. I'm shooting this and I haven't formatted it yet. But um, click that link. You know what I'm saying? Click that link and it'll tell you basically how to get a system set up. And it's very inexpensive. You know, like this is something that could literally cost you. <sighs> Depending, you know, you can get started pretty much like with all the stuff that you need, 50, 60 bucks a month, you know, and it'll take you literally a couple hours to do if you already have digital copies of your stuff. And, and this, here's the other thing, watermark your images. Okay. You don't just want to give away free stuff to people, right? Cause people will just like download it. They'll jack it. They'll do whatever, you know, so you want, you want, I mean, you're probably proficient in Photoshop or something. So just put a watermark across it. So that way nobody can take it, but you can put that all up and begin marketing today and potentially connect with, you know, a couple, couple customers, a couple dozen customers, a couple hundred customers, a couple thousand customers, depending on how big of a following you get. And as you continue to grow and as you continue to do this, trust me, if you have a blog the right way with social, social share icons and other things, like you can build a following so quick. To the point where you don't have to worry about working that crappy job anymore, going to that crappy job you hate, dealing with crappy people. You can just create all day, market for an hour or two, you know, a day or a week, depending on how, how hard you want to market or really like what your income goal is and make a living just creating art. Does that make sense? Okay. Max Uvas. I'll see you in the next video. And if you do like this video, trust me, just comment below, share it with your friends. I mean, that would be a great, great help for me because this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to help people. And, you know, if you keep it to yourself, you're not going to help anybody. 
So help me out by sharing this. Okay, thanks, peace.